let's go over wiring for a wiper motor and a speed controller. I use these on many of my props, including my flying ghost, my animated zombie, and my animated skeleton. If you haven't seen me before, hi, I'm Carrie with Scary Halloween, making props and decor on a budget. Let's start with the wiper motor. If you're anything like me and you order a wiper motor off of Amazon and it comes to your home and you're like, mm, now what? How do I wire it? After cutting into the protective case a little, I can see that this one has four wires and none of which are black, which is normally the ground wire. I am not an electrician, but I looked up online which colored wires are typically ground and it said that black, green, or green with a yellow stripe are most common. I'm going to use a battery to test what the other wires do. You can also use your car battery for this. I'm connecting the green to ground and then if I touch the white, nothing happens. And now red, again, nothing happens, which means these are both the park function of the wiper motor. Be sure to keep your wires separate in this process. And now let's see what happens when I connect the yellow. Ooh, look at how fast that is. What are we gonna do with this for a Halloween prop? This motor only has one speed, so let's jump into connecting the speed controller. You guys, this speed controller was only 15 bucks. I'll post a link for it along with the wiper motor and power supply. You can see here that the speed controller is labeled P positive and P negative along with M positive and M negative. So we know that green is our ground on our motor and yellow is our positive. We're gonna go ahead and put the wires into the M side of the speed controller, green into negative, yellow into positive, and just tighten the screws down. Now we need wires to connect to the P side of the speed controller that will connect to the female adapter to the power source. I don't have any extra wire here, so I'm going to clip about four inches of unused wire from the wiper motor. Now we're going to take our two little pieces that we cut off the wiper motor and connect them to the P positive and P negative. I'm going to put red into positive and white into negative. Next step is to connect the red and white wires to the female adapter. You can see that it is labeled positive and negative. The red wire is going to connect into the positive and the white is going to connect into negative. Tighten with an itty bitty screwdriver. Now let's plug into our power supply. Make sure the speed controller is flipped on. There's a little toggle switch here. And now you can just turn the knob and control the speed. I'm gonna show you using it in action with my animated skeleton. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up so you can see the difference. Mm, yep. And now let's turn it down to a creepy death crawl. That's so much better. It's so creepy now. 